Hello everybody, welcome to Console and PC Gaming and today I'm going to look at a possible fix for the issue that you may get when using the Quest 2. Now you can see this line here, you may see double screen because I'm in VR mode, but you see this, this square here, it's like a stencil, black sort of outline. You may get this when you are playing Flight Simulator with the Quest. So um, let's have a look, let me just unpause this, uh, so escape resume. So you see um, it's obviously quite in the way. So how do we fix this? I'm going to see if I can show you how to do it. It's quite simple. So let me see, uh, let's get out here and press uh, escape, sorry, control tab, and we'll go back to normal view. I wonder if I can tab out here. No, I can't. Will it let me tab? No. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the main menu and say yes, okay, continue, and hopefully, no, it won't let me back into the desktop. I want to be able to go back to the desktop to show you guys how we can fix this, but it's not letting me do it. So let's have a quit to desktop and I can show you from there. Okay, so you saw those those lines on the screen. Um, the best way to do it is to use uh, the Oculus software, the Oculus Link software and switch this, use FOV stencil to off. Now, uh, how do we get this? Well, this is, you need Oculus Link um, to actually use Flight Simulator with the Oculus Quest 2 and you download it from this link which I'll put in the description. Once you've done that, how do you get to that setting? Well, that setting then, depending on where you installed it, if it's in the default, it'll be in the C drive, program files, not program files 86, but program files, Oculus folder, and then you need to go to support folder and then Oculus Diagnostics and Oculus debug tool and in there you'll see the use FOV stencil. so make sure that is off. Once you've done that it, it should work so uh, let's see make sure your Oculus Quest software is running or, yeah, and that you connect it to your um, uh, the Oculus to your PC uh, that this video is not going into all that but as long as you've got this software and you've got your Oculus Quest you don't need Steam VR for this to work I've noticed I mean I've got Steam version of Flight Simulator but I don't use Steam VR I use the Oculus Link software so let's go back into Flight Simulator and see if uh, that has disappeared so here we go this may take a, a, a minute or two to load apologies for that so it, it, it looked awesome when I first uh, put the quest on and I saw that square and I thought oh no how am I going to get rid of this and obviously the VR mode has only been available in the flight simulator for the last week or so I think if that so there's a lot of um, information that is yet to come out onto the forums and things for um, fixing this sort of problem um, did I actually double click that let's click it again yeah okay so you can see I got the steam version of um, flight simulator and uh, I, th I used it with a Steam VR, and I thought, well, it didn't seem to work properly very well. So I th then thought, that if it's got support for Oculus, then it, it may work with the Link, and it, it worked with Link works perfectly, except for that black square, which we should have got rid of now. Just wait for this to load, and uh, hopefully that square will be gone. It does take a while to load. And I've got a i7 with a RTX 2080 Ti, and uh, it runs really well on there actually. Uh, the Quest 2 has been a very good uh, headset. I did have the HTC Vive Pro, and um, uh, it was good, but it's so many wires. But the, the Quest 2 allows you to uh, wirelessly play your Steam games away from the PC, but in this case, for Flight Simulator, I'm actually using the Link, so I haven't had time to check the uh, wireless setting on it yet. So here we go, World Update USA, and uh, we're nearly there. Come on, come on, nearly there. And, oh, we haven't lost the internet connection. Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, but we might not need that. So let's go to the flight. Let's set it up again from Cardiff, and go to uh, set as departure, set as the Oh yeah, departure, and then we'll go to the Bristol Airport to set as a, as oh, what's going on here? And let's just click on fly anyway. I don't know what's going on there? I have no idea. So we're going to load up the game going into VR mode by pressing Control Tab, and then you'll see that the square is gone. So, and then you'll be able to enjoy Flight Simulator in virtual reality mode. And amazing it is. So. Just a few more seconds to see. You can put it forward if you're watching this on YouTube later. I do apologize for the loading times. Hang on. Nearly there. Let's 
So we here got ready to fly. So I click on ready to fly. And now if we press there you go, if we press control tab and go into VR mode and it's gone. There you go guys. You see that has got rid of the problem and you can fly without that annoying square. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and make sure you check out the other videos on our channel. And um, until next time, have a good Christmas holiday period. Bye bye.